dear students a very warm welcome to all of you in this online class by department of school education punjab i am your friend and teacher gurmeel singh sagu ss master from government senior secondary school pullar district shri muksar sahib and today i am sharing with you an a very important topic of grammar that is punctuation so first of all a question may arise in your mind that what is punctuation students punctuation is the system of signs or symbols given to a reader to show how a sentence is constructed and how it should be read another question may arise why do we need punctuation punctuation makes the meaning clear it helps the reader to clearly understand the message that is being conveyed punctuation primarily helps to indicate the pauses and the emphasis on certain ideas or thoughts that are discussed in the text so why do need the punctuation we must understand the power of punctuation i would like to give you an example here are four words on your screen private no visitors allowed we can punctuate these words differently and you will see that there will be many meanings of these sentences for example private no visitors allowed it means that this property is private and no outsiders are, or no visitors are allowed here now we will see, see another example private no visitors allowed so you can see the power of punctuation that if we punctuate a sentence differently its meaning changes students you might be thinking now that how to punctuate a sentence so we use various symbols or signs to punctuate here you can see many characters on your screen which we use now we shall discuss all these punctuation characters or punctuation marks one by one first of all we have capital letters we use capital letters to punctuate the sentences a sentence always begins with a capital letter first sentence is he is a laborious student and it starts with a capital h then we have suman and i are friends starting with a capital s last year i went to shimla this sentence again starts with a capital letter that is l another use of capital letter is that the pronoun i is always written in capitals wherever it may be for example i am a student so i is capital here reena and i are friends again i is capital last year i went to shimla i is again capital another use of capital letter is that the proper noun anywhere in a sentence starts with a capital letter a prop here we go her name is sukhmani so the s in sukhmani is capital last year i went to delhi delhi is again a proper noun so it starts with a capital d now we move on to the next punctuation mark that looks like a dot it's called full stop or a period full stop or period is the most popular punctuation mark you simply cannot write even a single sentence without using it two most common uses of a full stop are to indicate the end of a sentence and to follow an abbreviation now we shall see some examples 
so here is the sentence my name is rina and a full stop is put at the end of the sentence then we feed this cat every evening again it ends with a full stop mr sagu is a teacher it ends with a full stop and another dot or period is at mr because it is an abbreviated form of mr now we shall have some exercise punctuate this sentence my sister is an mab ed so how do we punctuate it my m capital m my sister is an mab ed mab ed is an abbreviation and we like it and we write it like this capital m dot capital a dot then a space capital b dot capital e small d and then again a dot another sentence is here he passed the ba exam last year so here is so here is how we punctuate it it's the sentence starts with a capital h then the ba ba is a abbreviated form of bachelor of arts so it is written as capital b dot capital a dot exam last year full stop one more sentence is there the ramayana is a sacred book of the hindus so in this sentence this sentence starts with a capital t then ramayana it is a proper noun so it starts with capital r and the last word hindus it is again a proper noun so it starts with a capital h and a full stop at the end now we move on to the next punctuation mark that is question mark we shall have some examples what is your name is this your book are you happy to be home so you see all of these sentences are direct questions we put a question mark a question mark is also known as sign of interrogation it is used to indicate a direct question when placed at the end of a sentence the next punctuation mark is exclamation mark so now let's see where we can use this exclamation mark look at these pictures what do you think when you see the picture on your left what a cute baby now look at the picture on your right alas the poor bird is dead so you can see that we use the exclamation mark or the sign of exclamation when we want to express strong feelings or emotions may examples how to use an exclamation mark yes i will marry you wow we won the match oh dear i have lost my keys again so now there is some exercise punctuate this sentence this is how you shall punctuate it another sentence may i come in sir this is how we punctuate it another sentence is there and this is how we punctuate it then we move on to our next punctuation mark that is comma look at this picture my favorite fruits are apple and banana another picture is there my favorite fruits are apple banana and orange so you can see the difference between these two pictures here are two fruits apple and banana in this picture there are three fruits in this sentence we do not use any comma but in this picture we are using commas my favorite fruits are apple comma banana comma and orange so you can see that a comma is used to separate three or more things in a list it is put before and 
or or in a series of items here is an example i bought a book two notebooks a pen and a pack of pencils another use of comma hello how are you so you see that comma is used after introductory words like hello well yes no well i will give you my notes yes i have passed the examination no he is not going for the trip another use of comma it is used for giving a short pause in the sentence here you can see a picture and a sentence is written about the picture a lot of people young and old rich and poor gathered to watch the fight between a man and a lion so here you can see the use of comma at different places a comma is also used to mark out additional information like the girl who is wearing a pink shirt is my sister here the phrase who is wearing a pink shirt is an additional information about the girl so it is written between two commas another use of comma is that it is used in direct speech mark said comma good morning he said to me comma please give me your notebook So you can note that when in doubt over where to use a comma try reading the sentence out loud and generally speaking commas should be used where you pause for clarification or breath So you might have understood how to use a comma Now we shall have some exercise Ramesh the director of the company has gone to Delhi This is how we punctuated another sentence the sun having risen we started our journey and this is how we punctuated then we have tibet the roof of the world is an old land and this is how we punctuated now we move on to the next sign that is apostrophe apostrophe indicates a possessive in a singular noun like this sonu's house it means house of sonu anu's bag it means the bag that belongs to anu but when the possessor is a regular plural the apostrophe follows the s the girls school boys hostel to explain it further i give you two examples the girls bag it means that this bag belongs to a certain girl the girls school belongs to many girls another use of apostrophe is that it indicates the omission of figures in dates like this the year 20 is facing a new challenge here 20 means 2020 an apostrophe is also used to indicate the omission of letters the school starts at 8 o'clock every day good morning ma'am it's your turn it's been several years Another use of apostrophe is that it indicates the plural of words like the do's and don'ts of speaking she didn't welcome his buts and ands please note that the apostrophe doesn't have to appear in the plurals of abbreviations or plural dates like this DVDs or 1980s we do not use an 
now we move on to the next sign that is semicolon a semicolon separates two related sentences where there is no conjunction such as and or but example she is a good writer semicolon she has published several books a semicolon organizes syntax thoughts where many commas are used for example we bought dairy products like milk butter and cheese vegetables such as carrots potatoes and peas and some fruits like bananas and mango number 3 linking words such as however nevertheless also consequently and hence require a semicolon for example he spent a lot for the campaign however the majority of the public saw through his pretense and did not vote for him now we move on to colon is used to separate statements placed badly in dramatic opposition for example lawrence could not speak he was drunk man proposes colon god disposes it is also used when the second statement reaffirms explains or illustrates the first a colon also separates the dramatic characters forming a dialogue raju colon how do you get to bombay nishu you can go there by bus by train or by air colon now we move on to hyphen use a hyphen to join two or more words serving as a single adjective before a noun for example a one way street chocolate covered peanuts well known author use a hyphen with compound numbers like this 46 63 our much loved teacher was 33 years old a hyphen is also used to avoid confusion or an awkward combination of letters like this resign a petition versus resign from a job semi independent shall like with the prefixes x self all and also with the suffix elect between a prefix and a capitalized word and with figures or letters for example ex president anti american self assured t shirt mid september now we have another symbol that looks like a hyphen but it is a bit longer and it is called a dash a dash is used to express a range for example pages 10 dash 23 it means pages 10 to 23 100 to 300 participants january to may 2009 now we shall see the difference between a hyphen and a dash The first difference is that a dash is longer in size than a hyphen. This is a dash, here is a hyphen. Another difference is that we use spaces on both sides of a dash, but a hyphen is without spaces. Like pages 10 to 23, you can see the spaces on both sides of the dash. T-shirt, there are no spaces around the hyphen. Now we move on to quotes. The quotes are put as inverted double commas. Look at the picture. You can see a boy holding his mark sheet with an A+. So he is saying, "I am a good student." So we can write this sentence like this. He said, comma inverted commas i am a good student 
full stop, inverted commas, close. So you see the quotes are used to write reported speech. So you see the quotes or the double inverted commas are used to represent exact language either spoken or written that has come from somebody else that is direct speech. Here are some more examples. He said, comma, inverted comma, start, I am a student of 7th class, full stop, inverted commas, close. Another example is there. Now here are some rules regarding quotes. The sentence inside the quotes starts with a capital letter. The punctuation marks, full stop, question mark, or exclamation mark are put inside the quotes. Like this, he said, this is my book. The teacher said to the students, have you finished your test? So now we move on to another symbol that is brackets. The brackets are used to enclose information or explanation etc. in the main sentence. It is used just like two dashes used where the information or explanation is somewhat lesser connection with the main clause. For example, I went out and what might be on the other side. So now the bracket, the west side, bracket close, I do not know. So this is how we use brackets. So exercise time again. Punctuates some sentences. The first sentence is, do as I tell you, said the magician. So we will punctuate it like this, inverted commas, capital D, do, then comma, as I tell you, inverted commas closed, another comma, said the magician, full stop. Next sentence is, the teacher said students don't make a noise. So we will punctuate it like this. We will start the sentence with capital T. The teacher said then comma. Inverted comma start. Again a capital S. Students comma don't. An apostrophe between N and T make a noise, full stop, inverted commas, closed. Next sentence is, I would rather die, she said, than beg. This is a little bit difficult sentence, because in this sentence, the reported speech has been divided in two parts. So the first part is in the beginning, and the second part is at the end of the sentence. So in the same way, we shall have to use the inverted commas twice. So in the very beginning, inverted commas start, capital I would rather die, inverted commas closed, then comma, she said, again a comma, inverted commas start again, then beg, full stop, inverted commas closed. Another sentence. Balvinder, to tell you the truth is a crook. This sentence will be punctuated like this. So here you can see that to tell you the truth, it qualifies Balvinder, the noun. So we have used two dashes here. So we begin the let sentence with the capital letter B. Balvinder, then a space, dash, then again a space, to tell you the truth, again a dash, is a crook, and full stop. We have some more exercise. Harpreet is a student of Khalsa College, Amritsar. 
This is a very simple sentence. This is how we punctuate it. We started with a capital H. Harpreet is a student of Khalsa College Amritsar. Khalsa College Amritsar is a proper noun. So we uh, write all the capital letters of all its parts. That is K for, of Khalsa, C for college and A for Amritsar. All the three letters are capital and then a full stop at the end. Then she is a PhD student. This is how we punctuate it. We start with the capital letter S. She is a PhD. PhD is an abbreviation. So we use a capital P, then small h and then a dot. Then again a capital D and dot. PhD student. Then a, then a full stop. Next sentence is Gitanjali was composed by Tagore. So Gitanjali is a proper noun and also it is in the beginning of the sentence. We put a capital G here. Gitanjali was composed by Tagore. Tagore is again a proper noun. So we put a capital T and then a full stop. Now as we move on to the end of this video, let's have a fast recap about the punctuation marks that we discussed in this video. The first thing was capital letters, then full stop, question mark, exclamation mark, comma, apostrophe, colon, semicolon, hyphen, dash, quote, and brackets. So my dear students, I hope you enjoyed this lesson very much. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day.